Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Writing Practices. Today, we are going to learn how to write a sales agreement letter. What is a sales agreement letter? A sales agreement letter is a formal document that outlines the terms and conditions under which one party, the seller, agrees to sell, and another party, the buyer, agrees to purchase a specific product or service. This letter serves as a binding contract between the parties, detailing the agreed-upon price, description of the product or service, payment terms, delivery conditions, warranties, and other essential terms that govern the transaction. The purpose of a sales agreement letter is to ensure that both parties have a clear understanding of their obligations and rights, thereby minimizing the risk of disputes and ensuring a smooth transaction process. Here, Writing Practices will show you how to write a sales agreement letter step by step. Check this out. First of all, you need to write about the sender's information. This section includes the full name, address, email, and phone number of the company, or the seller. It serves to identify the entity initiating the agreement. Yes, it's essential to include all necessary contact information for the company, for clarity and future correspondence. Under it, write the date when the letter or agreement is written. The date establishes when the terms outlined in the agreement become effective. After that, write the recipient's information. This section provides the full name and address of the individual or entity, which is the buyer entering into the agreement with the company. Ensuring that the recipient's details are accurate is crucial for legal purposes and formal communication. Once you've done, you can continue to write the subject line. Here, summarizes the nature of the letter and the agreement being formed. The subject line gives a clear indication of the document's content, allowing the recipient to understand the primary focus immediately. After completing all these information, now you can open the letter with a formal salutation. Simply, you can write, Dear, followed by the name of the recipient. In the first paragraph, it is an opening or introduction. You need to introduce the parties involved, that are, seller and buyer. And write also the purpose of the letter, which is to formalize a sales agreement. You can say that this paragraph sets the stage for the detailed terms and conditions that follow. It should be making it clear who the parties are, and what the agreement entails. And here is how you write the first paragraph. This letter confirms the sales agreement between Bright Future Electronics, hereinafter referred to as the seller, and Alex Martinez, hereinafter referred to as the buyer, regarding the purchase of a custom home theater system. This agreement outlines the terms under which the seller agrees to sell, and the buyer agrees to purchase the specified product. In the next paragraph, you will have to write the terms about the agreement. In this letter, we will see eight terms. And you can put numbering to make them organized. The first point will be product and service description. In this case, you can describe the product or service being sold. They are including specific details that outline what the buyer is purchasing. Yes, this paragraph ensures that both parties have a clear understanding of what is being bought and sold. The goal is to reduce the potential for disputes over the product. Here is the example how you write the first point. 1. Product or service description. The seller agrees to sell, and the buyer agrees to buy a custom-designed home theater system. Including a 4K Ultra HD projector, Dolby Atmos sound system, and custom seating arrangement, as per the specifications outlined in the attached document. Make sure you include all the details needed. In the second point, you will have to talk about the purchase price. Specify the total cost of the product or service and the payment terms. Of course, it's important to outline payment conditions. They are including any upfront deposits and final payments. The goal is to avoid any misunderstandings regarding the financial obligations. And here is the example how you write it. 2. Purchase price. The total purchase price for the custom home theater system is $15,000. The buyer agrees to pay the seller the total purchase price, as follows. 50%, or $7,500 upfront upon signing this agreement. And the remaining 50%, 
or $7,500 upon installation completion. Point number three, delivery terms. Write the details when and where the product L or service will be delivered or installed. By doing so, you need to include the one who bears responsibility until the buyer has accepted the product. This section must clarify logistics and ensures that the seller is aware of their responsibilities until the product is officially in the hands of the buyer. You can take a look at this example. 3. Delivery Terms The seller will deliver and install the custom home theater system at 789 Residential Lane, Dallas, Texas 75202, on or before March 15, 2025. The seller is responsible for any damage or loss until the buyer receives and accepts the installation. In the fourth point, you can talk about warranties and guarantees. Here, outline any warranties provided by the seller concerning the product's quality and workmanship. It should be including warranty information protects the buyer by ensuring that they have recourse if the product is defective. If you have similar products here, you may simply copy this. 4. Warranties and Guarantees The seller warrants that the custom home theater system is free from defects in material and workmanship and agrees to replace or repair any defects within one year of installation. In the fifth point, you need to talk about inspection and acceptance. The purpose here is to give the buyer a specified time to inspect the product after delivery and to notify the seller of any issues. If you see, this clause allows the buyer to verify that the product meets the agreed specifications before fully accepting it. And you may write something like, 5. Inspection and Acceptance Upon installation, the buyer shall have 7 days to inspect the custom home theater system and notify the seller of any non-conformities. If no such notification is made, the buyer shall be deemed to have accepted the installation. I think everything sounds clear here. In the point 6, it is about title and risk of loss. You can define when ownership of the product transfers to the buyer and who bears the risk of loss during the transaction. Yes, this ensures clarity on when the buyer assumes full responsibility for the product. Here is how you write it. 6. Title and risk of loss. The title and risk of loss or damage to the custom home theater system shall pass to the buyer upon installation completion. In the point 7, it is the governing law. Of course, you must specify which jurisdiction's laws will govern the agreement. This is important for legal clarity, especially if the buyer and seller are in different states or countries. And this is the example how you write it. 7. Governing law. This agreement shall be governed by the laws of the state of Texas. And the last point, it is about the entire agreement clause. In this case, you need to state that this document represents the complete and final agreement between the parties. This clause prevents either party from claiming that there were additional, unstated terms that should be enforced. You may check this example. 8. Entire agreement. This letter constitutes the entire agreement between the seller and the buyer regarding the sale of the custom home theater system and supersedes all prior negotiations, commitments, and writings. In the third paragraph, you can write closing paragraphs. Simply provide space for both parties to sign, indicating their agreement to the terms outlined. Before that, you can write something like, by signing this letter, both parties acknowledge they have read, understood, and agreed to the terms and conditions outlined herein. And if you are in the name of a company, you may show you excitement about a continuing relationship. You can simply write, we look forward to a successful transaction and a continuing business relationship. And finally, you can put the signatures to finalize the agreement. The buyer's and seller's signatures will make the sales agreement letter legally binding for both parties. So, that's how you write a sales agreement letter step by step. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.